Hi there guys, Jones here. I uh, wanted to talk a bit about some gaming stuff on this channel. I know I'm not putting up my streams, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the Resident Evil franchise, as you can see. I got my star shirt on. Um, Resident Evil is probably my favorite game franchise of all time. Um, not to say there isn't any miscues from the franchise, but I've been streaming and playing a lot of the old games, finally finishing off a few of them. Uh, I beat four last year. It's been a 12 year journey to finally finish that game because I never had a copy after the GameCube edition. And then we just beat five last night and I've noticed how five definitely feels like a, I don't know, like a bastardized version of four. Um, to me, first of all, I guess I should run like a little history of the Resident Evil franchise. Um, I played the first one, I want to say it was 15. I guess it was around 96 when I first played it at a friend's house on the original PlayStation and I was hooked. Like, I love Capcom games, I'm a big fan of Capcom games and I never really played a survival horror game. I thought it was amazing. And it was fucking scary as shit too with the fucking weird camera angles, the, the controls that just put fear in you if something crazy was about to happen, you know. Um, I love the story, the acting was fucking terrible but um, Go back and watch the old intro to the original Resident Evil. It's pretty fucking funny. The voice acting, you know, with, uh... Don't open that door. What is this? I mean, it's fucking hilarious. But, it's a really good game. It created a very good station of fear. And I got to experience the GameCube remastered... Or remake... The remastered version of the GameCube remake from 2004. Or something like that. Um, a lot of fun. Streamed it on the channel. Had a good time with it. Um... It's a little tougher than it used to, than I remember, but also you can fix the controls, so it's not as bad. Um, basically, that one was the first one I played again was four, um, which is my favorite. Uh, so I've been playing. I've never really played any one of the ones besides uh, the main entries to the series. You know, one through seven. Uh, I played all of them at least a little bit. Um, I've really played three all that much. I tried it, played a little bit, had a good time with it. Didn't really get into it like the other ones, but I can understand why that one's a big favorite. Uh, but if you have to give me a uh, like a ranking system of the franchise, I would have to go with four at the top. Um, the two is probably my second favorite. It's really really good. Uh, the remake, the original is probably number three. Seven's number four. It it could be up there higher, but you know. I mean, the other games had more impact on me. And then there's three, which I thought was okay. I mean, and then, then at the bottom, of course, there's going to be uh, five and six, which is probably the worst. Um, right now, I'm currently playing through uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm trying it out. It's a side story continuation, but not one of the you know numerical Resident Evil movie or games. Uh, I don't even want to talk about the movies. I don't know why I said that. The movies are bad. Don't watch them. They're terrible. You should never watch them, ever, unless you really want to be in pain. Um, I gave a lot of them a shot because I'm a big fan of the franchise. But geez, one's okay, two's pretty good, three and everything after that sucks, so don't watch them. As much as Mila Jovovich is hot, don't watch them. But, yeah, that's kind of my ranking. Four being my favorite just because it had the tense moments, it had the action, uh, some satisfying moments, some amazing boss fights. Uh, Leon Kennedy is probably my favorite character of the franchise with Barry Burton being a close second which is why I'm looking forward to this playthrough of Resident Evil Revelations 2 so I can play as Barry but I don't know something about the fear and the, the, the monsters and the mutations and I mean it's just a cool cool franchise to me um, but yeah I, like I said 4 and then playing 5 I feel like it's it's like one of those games where it's like hey we should make another game like 4 but not really Let's add more action and a ridiculous boss fight. Like, for God's sakes, you fight Wesker, which is finally great to finally finish off a Wesker storyline, but you fight him in a fucking volcano, like, you shouldn't be dead. But, of course, there's a couple things you got to understand when it comes to Resident Evil games. Um, number one is you can climb up a ladder, but fuck that ladder jumping, climbing down, you jump. Except in Revelations 2, they climb down ladders. I was really shocked. But fuck ladders. That's, that's, that's rule number one. Um, rule number two, uh, if it's on the ground, it's probably... <laughs> Not dead, so you should probably still try to take a pot shot just in case. Um, of course, aim for the giant eyeballs whenever there's a boss. That's a that's a big rule. Uh, there's also uh, 
the boss the last boss isn't dead until someone drops a weapon out of a helicopter and you shoot it again which has been evident in four which i did uh, in five you double rocket launchers to west green a volcano pretty damn cool um and seven when uh redfield throws a gun out of the helicopter sorry spoilers the game came out a while back so it's not really spoilers uh and you shoot death so that's cool um the first game was was kind of the originator of that because they dropped a rocket launcher out of a helicopter and said use it so you know it's kind of been a thing with the franchise but yeah man like i said resident evil top franchise in my opinion some one of my favorites I, I try to enjoy every game thank you for watching this little uh look into the history of the resident evil franchise with me and my personal experiences with it uh if you like this video hit thumbs up i know it's kind of basic it's gonna be simple but you know i gotta do a little uh little game talk beside the streams if you want to check out the live streams that i've done of resident evil you can go to twitch.tv slash crazy 681 you can also check out the uh, youtube streams i've had the exported streams from twitch i should say of me playing resident evil 4 and a little bit of 5 and a little bit of 1 because i i exported them to the channel so we wouldn't lose them thanks for watching uh this little uh resident evil retrospective with me jones i'll see you later i gotta go drink some beer peace